the breakthrough in this investigation came in the early hours of this morning when armed Gardaí arrested a man and seized a van on the south side of Cork. The man was then taken here to Tralee Garda station where detectives are continuing to quiz him in relation to the death of Thomas Dooley. The cemetery on the outskirts of Tralee where the attack took place remains sealed off for a second day as Gardaí continued to examine the crime scene. Thomas Dooley and his wife had been attending a funeral when Mr Dooley was set upon by a group of men carrying weapons. Thomas Dooley, who was in his 40s and from Killarney, sustained a number of injuries and died a short time later. His wife Siobhan remains in hospital after she too received injuries in the attack. Close family friend Donal O'Grady said he's horrified and is now appealing for calm. I would be afraid of for the loss of life. I would. I'd be afraid of for the loss of life. And I'm asking and I'm pleading with the families and with those involved, whoever they are, I don't know, but stop. And stop now because this is where we live. Virgin Media News has learned in the hours after the attack, up to four people were arrested on their way back from the funeral, but later released without charge. The man in his 30s, arrested earlier this morning, however, remains in custody. Since yesterday, detectives have been interviewing as well as taking statements from many of those who've been attending the funeral. It's understood a large amount of CCTV footage has also been gathered and a number of weapons, including slash hooks and machetes, have been seized. Paul Byrne, Virgin Media News, Tralee.